PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome uh, is by many considered the single most frequent cause of female infertility. This condition has been known for decades and it has also for decades been known that um, the polycystic uh, ovary syndrome is kind of a basket of different etiologies, meaning different conditions leading to a very similar clinical presentation. In medical lingo, this is called different phenotypes of PCOS. So there are two principally dominant phenotypes that have been known for quite a time, for, for quite some time. The first one is called the classical phenotype represents roughly 40% of all PCOS patients uh, and it is characterized by truncal obesity, hirsutism, meaning uh, abnormal hair growth uh, frequently in face but also in other, on other body parts, uh, and maybe even most importantly highly associated later in life with a, what's called the metabolic syndrome meaning a risk towards diabetes and high blood pressure and arteriosclerotic heart disease. So it's not a great condition to have. Uh, most people, even physicians, when they talk or think about PCOS, think about that phenotype, but it is important to understand that it represents only f roughly 40% of all PCOS. A second uh, equally, almost equally frequent phenotype is the so-called lean PCOS phenotype. As the name already says, this is perfectly normal looking woman, normal weight, even low BMI, in contrast to the classical one, which is characterized by irregular periods, very irregular periods, and often uh, complete anovulation, meaning lack of ovulation, these women may have minor irregularities and often uh, ovulate regularly. So on first impression, one could think that this phenotype is it's the easier one, the better one, and that's how it has been perceived for a long time because after all they ovulate, they, they don't have the, the clinical symptomatology I described before. Yet interestingly, it is exactly that group uh, where we here at CHR over the last years concentrated a lot of our research because what we discovered that in that group some very interesting things happen. 